Guys, uh, I accidentally deleted our video we recorded together. I'm really sorry. Um, I know, I know. But look, I'll, I'll make it up to you by making this really short. Um, basically, two more things you need to know from 6.5. One is the mid-segment theorem, which we talked about in class, um, which basically means that if it's a trapezoid and if it's uh, doesn't even need to be isosceles, any trapezoid, the parallel sides have a mid-segment that's parallel to them, just like mid-segment of a triangle. And the length of that mid-segment is the average of the two parallel sides. So in this example down here, the top side is 8 and the bottom side is 20. And they're actually saying, hey, look, it's a cake. It's a wedding cake. You see the cake in the background. And if, if, we're, if we make a trapezoid out of the layers, you can see the top layer has a diameter of 8. It's actually a circle. The bottom layer has a diameter of 20. It's actually another circle. But like using the trapezoid, we can find the middle layer if the middle layer is exactly halfway in between. And it's going to be like what's right in between 8 and 20. So how do we find that out? Well, deep breath. We add 8 and 20. We get 28. And we take half of our sum. We get 14. So 14 is what the mid-segment of this trapezoid is. Make sure you pick the parallel sides when you do this. Um, the second part of this uh, thing we talk about is kites. Uh, you need to know what a kite is, first of all. And uh, as Gabe was saying in class, it's the, and there's two pairs of congruent sides. But going a little bit further than that, it's not just two pairs of congruent sides, because rectangles have that, parallelograms have that. This is not a parallelogram. It's not a parallelogram because the opposite sides are not congruent. It's here the adjacent sides, the next two sides are congruent. So if I have that, then I have a kite. Well, it turns out two things about a kite. One is the diagonals are perpendicular. And that's the important part. The diagonals, whenever I make the diagonals, are perpendicular of a kite. Remember, that's, that's also true of one other shape we talked about. Maybe you remember. A rhombus. A rhombus has diagonals that are perpendicular. A kite is not a rhombus, but it also has this feature. Second thing is that it has one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. Not two pairs, one pair. C and A are congruent. B and D are not congruent. Um, I say this is more important because I have an example illustrating this, and that is, okay, look, if we know these diagonals of the kite, then we also know, um, if we know those segments, then we can find the missing side. How? With the Pythagorean theorem. Um, this squared plus this squared will equal this squared. So you can find 20 squared plus 12 squared. It's 400. It's tw 20 squared is 400. 12 squared is 144. And the square root of 400 plus 144 comes out to be about 23.32. So you can find that. Using the Pythagorean theorem because you know about this rule that you just learned up here. That's it. That's it. That's it. Have a good weekend.